Hello, my friends. Today we are in Luminar Neo, and I want to show you something that I found out about uh, a setting in Luminar Neo that will completely destroy your images. I have over here some images. This is some pictures of my daughters that I took over the years. And let's start with this one. If you go to edit and let's say this image is very sharp, like I will zoom in at 100% so you can see. Maybe a little bit too sharp on the eye, but uh, anyway, this is my daughter. And if I go to edit and let's say I want to add more sharpening, I'll go to tools and I will use the super sharp extension. So I will click on super sharp and it's already a very sharp image, so I don't need to add much. So I will put face enhancer because we are working with the portrait and then I will use low just because, you know, it's already a sharp image. So let's see what happens when this sharpening is being applied. Now, this is not about the sharpening. Um, it's actually uh, something different. I will show you in a second. So I'm not going to judge the program too much about its sharpening abilities, but there is something else that you need to see here. Now, before we start, I just want to remind you that I do have a Luminar Neo playlist. Currently, it has 115 videos. So if you're not familiar with this program and you want to learn how to use it, I went through every single tool, how to use it, lots of examples, many edits, and it's absolutely free. So go onto my YouTube channel, look for my playlist of Luminar Neo, and binge watch to, you know, your heart's content. Now here is the image sharpened, as you can see it has tons of artifacts, the sharpening was not great, it looks horrible here on the sweater, but I'm just going to show you the before and after and watch what happened. If I click on this eyeball to hide this um, sharpening effect, you see my kid has blue, green kind of hazel eyes and look at the shape of the eye, look at the shape of the nose, look at the shape of the mouth. So this is my original image, this is the before, this is the after before and after. That is not my kid anymore. AI replaced the eyes, uh, mouth, nose, and replaced it with some other image in order to sharpen it. And that now it does not represent my child anymore. Doesn't have the same eye, doesn't have the same nose, doesn't have the same lips. So I thought maybe this was just uh, something that, you know, maybe it's to do with this image. Let's take another image, see how it works. This is my oldest daughter. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to super sharp face enhancer, and I'm just going to do a low sharpening. And this um, problem, it's occurring not only in the super sharp extension, there's somewhere else I will show you in a second. So be aware. And you know, if it doesn't bother you replacing the facial structures of a person, then, you know, for all means use it. But for me, I feel like this is a problem because I just want to enhance the photos of the person I have. I don't want to replace it with someone else's face. Now here is the super sharp version. As you can see, horrible artifacts on the hair and the image itself, instead of being sharper, it's actually more blurry. Now let's look at the before. This is the before. Look at my kid's eye. My kid has blue eyes. Uh, look at the mouth, look at the nose. And this is the after completely different shape of the eye, different color, like right now it's brown eyes and she does not have brown eyes. So that is the before, this is the after. Different eyebrows, look at the eyebrows of my kid. Look at the, you know, shaped eyebrows that probably took it from a woman over here. So this is the before, this is the after. Before and after. Look at the lips, this one has lipstick, different kind of lip shape. This is my daughter's. This is the AI. So I went and ran this over all these pictures of my kids. And let's see this one over here. If I show you, let me go into my edits. If I turn it off, this is the origin. Let me just zoom in at 100% so you can see better. So this over here, this is the original image of my daughter. And this is the AI before and after. I'm going to show you a couple of more. Let's see this one. This is my oldest daughter. I'm going to go to edit and to the edits here. Let's zoom in to maybe 50% just to get a little bit closer. 
So this is before, as you can see, my daughter has light color eyes. Look at the teeth, look at the nose. This is the after, before and after. Let's see some more examples. I think this is a good one. This is again my oldest daughter. And into the edits, into my super sharp. This is the before. You see the shape of the eye, the mouth, the nose, and this is the after. Not only it replaced the eyes, nose, mouth, but it also added an earring. Well, kind of added it because it's not clear, but my daughter did not wear earrings in that image. As you can see, this is the before, and this is the after with earrings. So let's see this one. This one has her eyes closed. This is my youngest daughter, and let's see. This was the before. I should probably zoom in. Hold on. Let me get into 100% so you can see what's happening here. So this is my daughter before natural eyelashes. You know, she's a kid. And this is the after. Try to replace the earring. Has fake lashes on, different lips, different mouth. This is the before. This is my kid. This is not my kid anymore. Let's go into... Let's see, this one, oh, this setting, it's, um, it's set it somewhere else as well. This is my daughter again. And this would happen if you use upscale as well. So in upscale, when you do upscale, if you click on this gear and click the face enhancer, then you will have the same problem. I already did this uh, uh, upscale just so you can see it. So if you see, I have two images. This one is the original. Look at the dimensions over here. It's 9,500 by 6,300. And this is the upscale version where I doubled it in size. So let's look at the images. This is the original image. As you can see, the eyes are sharp. This is her blue, green eyes, whatever color that is. And then here is the after. It's blurry. It's not even sharp, even though, you know, and this is the before and after. Before, look at the lips, before and after. Look at the eyes, before and after. The nose. So this is what I wanted to show you. So be aware of this when you click those buttons, make sure you know what it's doing and pay attention to details. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.